morning. I just finished reviewing for my quiz this morning. I skipped, I decided to skip donor today because I, we get six skips a semester and I only used one so far. Honestly, at first I didn't really feel like taking the donor quiz in the morning. I felt like I just didn't want to go through the stress of like preparing for the quiz and whatever and I'd rather just have slept in and whatnot. And then secondly, I looked over what we were doing today and we were just finishing up cleaning up the inside of the skull after we had taken the brain out. A lot of groups haven't even taken their brain out fully and we already got that part done. So today would have been a lot of just like clean up stuff and standing around for four hours and I didn't want to do that. I felt like I could use my time better even just by catching up on sleep and feeling rested for the rest of the day so I decided not to go. Instead I studied for my quiz. I had a nice productive morning and now I'm gonna go head to school. I'm gonna take my quiz. I have a couple of meetings today. I'm gonna try and sit in in as much lecture as I can and then stay at school the rest of the day, study, gym, all that jazz. Back home, today was a pretty simple day since I decided not to, since I didn't go to donor in the morning, so I just took the quiz. Went to go watch the recorded lecture, went to the gym, played some dodgeball, it was a nice day. This is a pretty easy week, I think total we have like 7 hours of lecture for the week, or 6 hours of lecture. Total we have 7 hours of lecture for the week, which is pretty sparse, and I already got ahead of it. I watched my sketchy videos, I watched my physio videos, um, I did some Anki review cards, definitely falling behind on the Anki reviews and I should be keeping up better, but I haven't. Um, the other nice thing about this week is that there are a lot of like extra events hosted by clubs going on this week, which there's a couple that I really want to attend. So hopefully it's a more relaxing week where I could do a little bit of the other things. I'm gonna do some Anki reviews. I'm also gonna play some of the Harry Potter games since I have more free time. And then I'm gonna go to bed and yeah, see you guys tomorrow. What happens when I try to dress my character for increased health, defense, and offense? And I end up with this. Um, has dysfunctional LPL, which leads to hyperlipidemia as well. Uh, and then the decrease. Don't make Hi, it's Tuesday, 5 p.m. I'm on my way back to school. I had integrated session today where we talked about the histology of the eye. Then I had um, C mapping, which is our case-based learning. And then I had a meeting and then I had the lectures for two hours. Now I'm on my way back to school. There's a movie screening that I was gonna go to and then I'm gonna go work out and then get back home. So I changed one of my prescriptions and I also changed my insurance today, or not today, I changed my insurance this year. So I went to CVS to go pick up my prescription and I didn't realize that the insurance that I'm now on um, doesn't cover non-citizens uh, until I have lived in this country with a green card for five years, which I haven't done. I think I've only been here for three years with a green card. And so I basically have never been in a situation like this where I wasn't able to pick up my prescription. I was always fortunate enough to have insurance coverage for it. Um, and I basically got to that CVS uh, ready to pick it up and they told me it wasn't valid and I didn't know what to do and the reason I bring this up is because I talked to a lovely lady on the phone about my insurance and um, she told me that I asked her basically what am I supposed to do now that I'm in the CVS and I need my prescription and she told me that she personally uses GoodRx and that it's just an app that I have to download and so I have heard of GoodRx before but it's one of those things that I've heard of it and I thought it's almost like too good to be true and there's got to be some sort of caveat reason I bring this up is because I downloaded this app and like without plugging in any of my information at all I just looked up the medication name they asked me to just pick uh, the pharmacy that I'm at whether it was like Rite Aid Walgreens or CVS gave me the discount that I was gonna have all I had to do was text myself that discount code and then I showed it to the person at the pharmacy or the pharmacist 
and they gave me the discount and I think I ended up saving like over $20. And the price came down to something very reasonable. So if you're having to buy your medications out of pocket and have not used GoodRx before, this is like not sponsored. This is something that I personally tried for the first time like 15 minutes ago and it worked amazing. And so now I'm telling you that if you haven't tried it, try it. I know it's been talked about a lot and advertised a lot, but I just never had the opportunity to try it and then forgot that it even exists and thankfully was reminded of it and it ended up saving me a lot of money. So it was really nice. Give it a try. <laughs> Once again, this is like not sponsored at all. Um, just something that helps me and hopefully helps somebody else. Hello, I'm on my way back from shadowing. I went to the hospital this morning, or more so, I went to go shadow the surgeon that I usually shadow, but at clinic today, he has clinic once a week. So it was nice to see like a different side to being a cardiothoracic surgeon. And so I did that for four hours. We saw a couple of different patients. Some of them came with certain complaints like pain or other symptoms. Some of them came for just a sec checkup post surgery or post some sort of procedure with no symptoms just to make sure they're still doing okay and usually these patients are then referred to a cardiologist once again i know i say this like every time but i am so happy every time i go there no matter if it's surgery no matter if it's clinic i love just being in the environment of cardio and listening to patients about their cardio complaints and just like all the medications and all the treatments that are involved in it. I just love this specific field and I just love all learning all the things there are to know about it. Also, I feel like I say this a lot too, but I absolutely love my surgeon, mentor, or the doctor that helps me out. He's just an amazing human. He's the sweetest. He's so smart. He's so hardworking. He's literally one of my favorite humans on this planet and I'm so lucky to have him as my mentor. I just love him so much. And I'm really grateful. I'm thankful that he's helping me out and that he's like taking me under his wing. He's amazing. Your new OMM pet. Hi. You're very small. Camilla's uh, connecting with her inner rat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those belong in uh, medical school. Did you escape from the lab? Probably a judge, not a mutation, Camille. He's gonna bite you. You're gonna turn to Spider Man. Oh my goodness. Maybe he'll turn to a raccoon and you will react like one. And that muscle is attached to and coming off the orbiculars. I'm back from donor. I was very unproductive this morning because I woke up at 9.30 and then decided that I wanted to sleep in just a little bit more and next thing I know I'm waking up at noon and I have to be in class in less than an hour and so I basically didn't do anything today apart from attend donor for four hours. So I should try and get a lot more studying done today, which is going to be the plan. Definitely have to review a lot of anatomy because we're doing neuro. So there's a lot in terms of cranial nerves and their branches, parts of the brain, parts of the skull. And I haven't done a lot of anatomy review up to this point. So the carotid canal is natural serum. Through the serum is the turret. No. The <laughs>